Buenas tardes, estamos en la duodécima edición de DCD España. Estamos con Kevin Kent, Data Center Operation Manager de Ohio State University Wexford Medical Center. Uh, Kevin, nice to uh, happy to uh, have you here today. Uh, why should energy and efficiency be a priority for data center managers? Yeah. When we don't need to look any further than our planet and the climate change that we are seeing and the negative side effects that are coming from high energy usage. Uh, recently, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released a report that said by 2030, if we don't lower our carbon emissions down to 270 parts per million, which is a 45% reduction, we will see cataclysmic changes to our planet, and we are already starting to see many of those happen. It's not too late to reverse them, but the time to act is now. What are the main energy efficiency strategies when, the, when designing a new data center? The Uptime Institute released a report about two weeks ago and they talked about the uh, amount of waste that we have in our mechanical and our cooling en environment. When building a new data center, some of the trends that we are seeing is data center builders are picking areas where they can take advantage of what we call free air, where air doesn't have to be compressed or used uh, by mechanical equipment. The other part of that is trying to reclaim any heat loss or taking the heat rejection and being able to use that. In Sweden, we have seen them build data centers by schools, swimming pools, hospitals. With the heat rejection, they will heat water and use that to heat swimming pools and athletic clubs, classrooms in a, a schoolroom. During the summertime, they're even taking their heat rejection and making compressed wooden pellets that they can burn in furnaces during the wintertime. Uh, for us, it is possible to uh, achieve energy efficiency in a data center modernization of the update project? Now, that's a very good question, and I think that many people, when they look at energy efficiency, they say, I have an old data center, my equipment is outdated, I probably don't have too many areas where I can achieve energy efficiency. Uh, it's very important to understand, regardless of the age, the size, or type of your data center, to live within the guidelines and the rules set forth by groups such as ASHRAE, the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers, and to understand that while there is a recommended range, there's also an allowable range and as our equipment our server switches and storage uh, become better and newer we begin to understand that we can push our allowable envelope up to in Fahrenheit the 95 degree area without sacrificing any reliability towards our equipment so as we look at modernization I believe it's very important if you are going to modernize a data center to make sure that you do everything possible to become efficient before you start any modernization